on this segment we actually test fit the head stud just to make sure it's lubed up and then of course we cleat test the cams because of the crower stage three and then we cut up the clay just to see how thick it is you can see it here right and of course we'll talk about a killer product that ensures zero valve cover gasket leaks this is gonna be awesome let's go to our favorite here reinstalling the head as usual with all the necessary steps and yes all the clicking sound we like so hey let's go finish up this engine let's go Okay, now first things first, our new page is up and running. I had to make this one because my personal Facebook got hacked and lost control of the old page. So here we have a price list even for the basic work like head porting, engine build labor, cam degree, and even ECU tuning. I had to make this page because I could no, long, no longer control the old page because my personal Facebook account got hacked. And so those are messaging us there. Please check out the new page here. The link will be in the description below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible with all your messages. So here we even update all the stuff that we do in at the shop. And even here, we have reels of dyno tuning or when we're dyno tuning an SIR, you guys can check it out there. So of course, if you guys have any f further questions, you can comment on posts there. I'll get back to you guys. So I'll see you there. And here we can see the deck freshly resurfaced. You can see it's all good, smooth and shiny. And this is one thing that we like to do. Because the block has been thoroughly cleaned with mineral spirits and solvent, this way the thread is all bone dry. So we put ARP fastener loop on the head studs or even oil and we hand tight it all the way through. This lubricates the threads. It prevents from pulling threads or cross threading it that's a little shop trick that you guys can do it won't hurt be being safe right so okay now so we here we put the clay on the piston to clay test it on the v tech just so we know we're safe when we dyno it all right now here we, we put the head and after one full turn we check it and cut the clay in half just to be sure and just to see how thick it is or how close it is the other I mean the valve into onto the pistons and you can see here now we actually know the limit which is plus three advance so now we clean it up and look at this the pm7 or the p29 lays one millimeter below deck or 0 0.040 so we calculated it and now we get 12.8 is to one compression all right now here we put a very very thin amount of three bond or honda bond the oil drain which is actually optional but you know we just gotta make sure there's no leak because on the corner of the block there's always like slight oil leak on every build i've seen so from others right here we drop the head now we put the head studs hand tight and remember we installed this earlier with arp fastener lube this way the threads on the block is well lubricated okay now let's go with the first step which is 22 feet pound torque we're not gonna time lapse this because it won't take that long you know and we didn't really put down the phone i mean the volume and sorry you can hear the fan that's the buzzing sound because you know it, it gets warm here tropical country so the humidity is really high yes there it is okay now we're halfway through so we gotta do the rest See, this helps when you actually pre-lubricate the threads on the block. That is why we always actually just hand tight the head studs with ARB assembly lube. Or even if you don't have one, even if you use oil, that's fine. As long as you pre-lube the block. Because when you cleaned it earlier, like when we cleaned it, we know it's bone dry after. Like with no oil. So it needs lubrication. And okay, now second and final step is 53 feet pounds torque. And then you can hear it's louder now. Oh yeah, now okay, we got a time lapse this so it's quicker. All right. Yeah. Now it's all torqued up. Let's look at it close. Oh yeah. 
Crower valve springs and retainers looking really, really good for the Crower Stage 3 cam. Yes, and the head is all torqued up. Oh, yeah, now it's all ready. Wait, now let's slap on the cam just for fun, you know, just to look at it. Yes, sir. All right. Brand new Crower Stage 3 cam. Oh, this is going to be a fun motor. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, now, before we continue, let me show you something about the rock arms that, you know, we got from Evil Dre. Something really, really cool. Here it is, right? Okay, now, the thing is, locally, I keep seeing it in the local group or a local Facebook group. They seem to pull threads or actually crack the cam cap when installing this. Like, they, they probably, like, over-tightened it or I don't know because the valve cover is leaking and whatnot. But the stopper is there. So if you over-tighten it, it actually, you know, it'll crack it up, right? So Evil Dre did something really, really cool. So here, let me get that. Here, let's tighten it. Wait, no, no, sorry, sorry. Here, what they did was they made this kind of like, so now it mimics a B series, you know? You'll just run this, and then you'll just run, use a valve cover nut instead of these. So that's really, really cool in my book. I mean, you know, you know, now you can just hand tight the studs here. Okay, let's, you know, quicken this up. Yep, yep, yep. All right, there. And on the other side, there's two more. Okay, one in the middle, of course. Let's get the other side here. All right. There. And then one more in the middle. So now you're going to use the nut like a B-series of course with a washer so this actually lets you tighten it properly in you know in order or proper sequence making sure there's no leaks instead of the, like using the oem valve cover nut for the sock vtec when you over tighten it it might crack right i mean it never happened to us but i i keep seeing that on a local group i'm not sure if it happens in the us or whatnot but hey you guys can get this from Evil Dre. It's around thirty dollars. We'll show you his Facebook account a bit later. Here's put in the middle. Fell, sorry. There you go. And actually, this is really, really clever. You know, this is really cool because now it'll let you run the grommets and the washer like a B series. And now, you know, you can tighten it properly without worrying about pulling threads on the cam cap. Here's on the valve cover side, instead of that. Because this one, I don't know what, what the locals do, but they always crack this section of the cam cap, probably because they over tighten that, because it's leaking. So I don't know. Here it is, a closer look. And this is made of SKD11 tool steel. So this does not have to be hardened or whatever. This is not gonna pull thread. It's not gonna get lost thread. You know, this is gonna be good. And all you need is this, so you're all good. Even the replacement ones are still good. So check out his Facebook. Here it is, if you guys need this or want this. And for the locals, it's easy. But internationally, this is just $30. So that's still fine, right? Here we are now with slap on the rocker arm. You hand tight the cam caps. This way it's all secure. Make sure all the rocker arms are laying really good on the cam lobes, not across it or not wedged to it so it won't scratch the bores. I mean, sorry, the lobes. All right, there you go. It's gonna be good now. There's, it's actually all complete now. And so here, now let's check it with the cam caps or the valve train on the engine itself. And here you can see how it is before you install the valve cover. This way you know it's actually gonna see a uh, clamp or seal better because it's not gonna pull any thread. And here the back side on the, in the side of the intake, sorry. Yes, sir. So, yep, and ported head is good. And let's look at the exhaust here. Oh, yeah, this is all ready. Ready to actually make really, really good torque, right? With the head that he has. So, hey, 
we know there's room for more. So, yep. And so this valve cover studs from Evil Dry is really cool. So you guys hit up his Facebook for a set of it because it's an upgrade. Okay, so now let's continue. This time my colleague is doing the completing of the belt, the tensioner and everything like the plastics. Here it is, getting the plastic, the backing cover behind the cam gear. This way the head is really complete. It's actually washing it up. This way it looks really clean. There you go. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's all complete. All right. And now here, the belt is on. Well, it's loosening it. It's trying to check on the tech, uh, belt tensioner. Sorry, sorry. So that's all good. Because we set this at 109 lobe center. That's what Crower suggested. So we went for that. Yes. So this engine is basically finished or done. We're just waiting for the Skunk 2 Pro Series to be welded by Edmel. We actually sent it already, so it's gonna be back real soon. So we're gonna port match it with a 70 millimeter throttle. So this is gonna be a D16 or a PH16 VTI with a D16 Z6 P08 head, fully ported, reworked PM7 pistons, and of course, Crower Stage 3 cams and a ported Skunk 2 old uh sorry skunk to pro street intake take manifold so this is gonna be really really good right so you gotta check on this when first run we're gonna have another video and also here you guys remember this the d16 zc that we did we, we rebuilt because it, it was lacking oil pressure well it actually worked it's actually better now the owner contacted me ralph tan messaged me and said it's starting to have good signs or show good signs so obviously he decided to have a dyno because on this sunday on the 25th or 24th they're gonna have a race in brc so that's really cool right well here it is we actually went to the dyno actually since he's tuning his own fuel tech ecu so we went to the dyno with him to assist him on his dyno. So hey, it actually ran really good. And this is the car. It looks really, really awesome, right? So you guys gotta wait for the video for this on Tuesday. So it's gonna be really awesome. And of course, those who are curious about the power, you can just wait. And of course, when it's ready, you can just always click it here.